Hello, I'm Vincent, and in this video, I'm going to go over how you can combine more than one volume in HyperNav in order to more effectively divide your level into different sections. So currently, I have one big volume that encompasses my entire level. But say, if parts of my level were in different scenes, and I didn't want to have them all loaded at the same time, or I just wanted to save uh, baking performance in this volume by splitting it into smaller ones. How do I do that? Well, it's quite easy. I'm going to look at this volume. First, I'm going to edit it to just make it smaller. I'll make it take up about half of the space I've got here. Then just rebake it so we can see that all of this additional stuff out here disappears and it's only covering half of the playable area. Now, I'm just going to make another one. I'll duplicate that drag it over here, put them close to each other, and bake the new one. So now I have two separate volumes. Each of these volumes will now work totally fine on its own, so you could use these as they are. However, if you want to have a path that goes from over here to over here, in the other volume, that's not going to work because there are no connections between these yet. However, to get that, all we have to do is click this Generate All External Links button. That's going to look at the relative positions of these volumes and determine how close they are to one another. In this case, it didn't actually work because I think they are too far apart from each other. So the options I have here are I can either increase this max external link distance or I can just simply move them closer together. In this case I'm just going to move them closer together because that's easier. We'll put this here. Bake it again. Now if I generate external links again, now you can see all these green lines appear. Each of these lines indicates a connection between the two volumes. So these are all places where an agent can travel from this volume into this volume. And you also see the green lines here because those links go from this volume to this volume as well. So just to demonstrate it, if I move the target, you can see it navigates over here just fine. Then I move it over here, and it navigates over here just fine. So it now can cross the boundary between regions. In fact, if I put this here, now you'll note that if I drag it over here, the agent needs to go through this other volume to get back to its original volume, and it can handle that just fine. So it can now find out complex path between volumes, even if it has to go back to the same volume again in a different region. In this case, I have basically just put these two volumes in the same level to demonstrate, but you could of course have these in different levels, and even if they are in different scenes, the connections between them will stay, will work just fine. You could, for example, load scene A, which has this nav volume in it. The other scene, which has this volume in it, isn't loaded yet. But since this volume's loaded and this volume isn't, these links are just going to be inactive. But as soon as you load the scene with this volume, then those links are going to become active and you're going to be able to travel freely between those two volumes. So that about wraps it up for using external links. They're really simple to use just got to make sure that when you actually generate them, you need to have both your volumes loaded or it won't have any idea, you know, how to, where to put the links. Anyway, that's it for this video. I will see you all later. Hope this uh, library is useful to you. Goodbye.